Okay, so Steve Jobs resigned. Are we, are we there yet? Is yeah, that, I guess that? we can go there. Uh, uh, Apple stock still hasn't fully rebounded. Anybody who was smart enough to buy Apple stock at open did nice today. Yeah. They did. They did real nice today. <laughs> 52 billion, though, was erased on immediately though, when, when, when that hit the news. Oh, no, it's, uh, you know, I'll put a link into the show notes here. Look, uh, well, actually, it'll change by the time this is published. But it's like Apple stock open. At uh, around 340, finished the day at around 380, but at one point got down to almost 300. So I mean, it, it, it's, I thought there was a, last I checked it was at 371, 372 somewhere there. It's th it's 37372 right now. It's down overall 2.46 points, but it it had a little roller coaster today where it did this. <laughs> <laughs> Say that again. Let's let Phil first, because you know I have a whole tirade on this. Yeah, go ahead, Phil. Yeah, well, I mean, like I say, was well, the first I saw about it was when I got up and I saw that um, you'd sent um, an email about it, and I thought I thought you were having me uh, having me on about it. And then when I did see it, I mean, t t to be honest, how can I say, so I'd say I was surprised, but not altogether out, out of the blue shocked, because obviously it, it was something that was coming. But then again. As we said um, just there a, f a little while back, I think a lot of people who were selling the stock and what have you to begin with didn't fully let it sink in that while he's no longer CEO, he is still in a very powerful and significant role as chairman now. So by no means is his influence going to disappear overnight. So I think that uh, it's really a wait and see thing at the moment while he's no longer the main decision maker. I think that his influence will still be able to be seen in certain areas. Well and, the, well, and the other thing that I think a lot of people miss, you know, regardless of where you sit on Apple, in his letter of resignation, and the board agreed, you know, they suge he suggested, hey, you know that guy that was running the company while I was sick? I think he should have the job. <laughs> so, it's, you, you know, it, it's it's not this monumental change. It, it's, it's not... Nah. Anyways, you have a tirade, Marcel? <laughs> yeah. I'm the opposite opinion. Oh, you think it's the end of Apple? <laughs> uh, well, no, at the beginning. I do. Um, it's not going to be for a while. But, uh, hey, it's just like a famous quote was saying, when, when it, it, t it takes a long time to bleed a billion dollars, you know, as many billion dollars as it is. But put, to put it quite frankly, Apple is Steve Jobs. And, and, and um, the way it was managed is Steve Jobs, and that's something that we have to grasp. And, let's, and, and let me put logic into this, which people don't understand. It is not a saving grace that he's a, board, a chairman of the board, board an employee. So is Woz. And, and everybody thinks, and everybody thinks uh, Steve Wozniak is a flake, right? No, Steve, Woz, Steve yeah, Wozniak has interests that, interest that, that are largely that, incompatible. It does not with matter. You're missing the point, and that's why everybody's missing the point. The point is he resigned and, I, and I'm sad to say, and I, and I wish him all the best for his health, he made the marker choice to say, I am resigning. You guys have to understand, and everybody who's an Apple fan that's watching, that is a significant decision in that if it, if it were, oh, I'm going to be so much involved as a chairman, then why resign to become a chairman? If you want to still be that day-to-day -day person, then you would not have resigned to be that, but this alternate person. That's the logic of it. He had to resign because he clearly cannot be that relevant. I, 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 I think anymore. it's one of two things. I think either it's like you say, he has no interest in being the day to day person anymore, or one too many people have come up to him, and this would be a second variation of that, and that he's like, fine, if everybody thinks I'm wrong, I don't want to fuck with it anymore. Or the other thing could be there are elements within Apple that want to take Apple down a different road than Jobs wants to lead it down. Like the type of people who wanted to make WebOS out of iOS and, and so forth well, and I so on. I don't have any details on that. I really think that his health is in jeopardy and that he has to really... No, no, no. I, I, I don't think it's his health. I think, but, he, you know, he has done this for going on over 30 years. I think he's just sick of it. I don't know. I, 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 oh, you know what? That would be better because I, you know, look, pick 
pancreatic cancer, and I and I really hope. I don't want anybody. To, that's that's something terrible. You know, he's he's got his family, and the way that I look at it, that this app was just love, and and, app, and and John's personality is that one to to just go look, man. Um, you know, this is my baby. Although you have a point in that, if there is some, which I, I won't dismiss it, but if there is some underpinnings that, that there's an argument going on, this is a reason for resignation. It's happened before where it was kicked out. Um, but it's I, no, I, I, I don't think he's been kicked. I, I, no, he's not. It, I'm not saying. I'm saying before he was. But this could be. It, what you're trying to imply is that there's currents saying we need to go another direction. Another direction. And, 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 and he's basically, you know, I fought this before. I don't even want to fight it this time. You know, I mean, see, see here, here see, here's here's my thing that, but whatever it is, guys, that he is that that he has resigned is very significant. I don't care what any pundit wants to say about that. If he really is to be involved in day to day operations, as people want to say, he's still going to have influence. Then there would be no need for resignation. This it's it's a contradiction. Okay, he can be the chairman of the board, but I guarantee you, the participation and and the saving grace that people want to rely on that he's still an employee and he's the chairman of the board is it, that's all facade. I'm sorry. Well, no, no, I I, 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 I think that he, he, to otherwise. I, I think that he wants to have. Uh, like a Sunday involvement, but not real involvement. Because the reality is, if you yeah. think as chairman of the board he's going to be involved in the day-to-day -day operations, you should sell your Apple stock now because that is the surest way to tear a company in two. Yeah. If the yeah. chairman of the board and the CEO are arguing over which direction the company right. should go. And, and, I think, and I think it may be your strictly theory. Is that what did I say a couple of shows shows ago? Did I not say that iOS is, is going to run into an identity crisis? Yeah, I did say that. And I think that we're we're at a Jobs is leaving the company at its most critical time. Ten years have gone from OS ten, and that was the life limitation that Jobs set himself back in in what was it two thousand one. OS ten is going to run its span for ten years. Well, well, and and that, that may be another point of contestment because based on what Apple's doing today, it's very clear Apple has no interest in making any kind of OS 11. They just want to keep doing OS 10 for another 10 years. That's right. It's OS 10 Windows is actually changing its underpinnings. That's a huge movement for Microsoft to go from we're Intel only now, we're in support ARM, we're changing our entire underpinnings. That means kernels change. Uh, they, they, of course, can recompile for the for the new binary, but I guarantee you, it's going to be power saving conscience uh, in terms because if it's going to run on ARM. They've got to diminish the amount of resources that are going to be uh, expended on the CPU, and uh, um, uh, of course, OS ten uh, they made a sub sub uh, the subset of it with, with iOS. But I, I say that iOS is going is headed for identity crisis, and so is OS ten. And this is a very key time that that fear. I'm very fearful because it's it, it's 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 change direction time. And iOS now is it is quite frankly I don't care what anybody says. Yes, iOS can be smooth and all this other crap, but Android is clearly the market share thing. And I don't care if it's cheaper or whatever. The numbers are numbers. Period. Oh, but Apple is making profit, profit, profit. Yes, that's great. They were making a lot of money also in the golden age is back in, in, in the late 1980s going into, into the 1990s. What I'm worried about is, see, to me, the iPad is a fad. And uh, clearly, nobody can, can nobody can tell me otherwise that, 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 that it's not. And, but here, let me, let, me, let, me, let me stipulate that, that a fad is not a negative connotation. Because if you are the number one coolest person or the coolest product, that's the most profitable place to be. In other words, if you you could be a stinky piece of lumpy crap on a sidewalk, hey, but if you were cool, you sell. Dude, it make the pet rock and the invisible dog made a lot of money. Yeah, look, it, it, the bottom line of any company is to make money, and if you are cool, you're making money. Apple has set itself as a brand and icon, and it, it's an iconic product. The iPad is an iconic product. And now. I am reading article after article about, about well, I don't use it like I, I, I thought I could. Uh, it doesn't do this. I'm, I'm getting tired of typing things on it. And now it's it's become... The, 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 the 
have is become a walking device for the person. So I'm the ones I look at them and say, you just paid, what, $600 for a single-use device. Mm-hmm. And, 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 and essentially is what they think. It's like we said before, I have access to a gaming platform, period. 48%, 40% of application downloads now for iOS are all dominated by games. Do you know what the second highest tier of application downloads for iOS is? Is entertainment. That means games and entertainment are the two biggest app downloads for iOS. Meaning that when the cool goes away or somebody out competes it in games, it's done. It's a, it's a done thing. Now the money's in the bank, right? And I've, I think I've stated this on other shows before, but hey, okay, so you went to the bank. But this tells me long term. Apple's not going to diminish this year or next year. There's a, there's a long enough time. In, in oh, no, no. For time. Apple to go away would take about... like it, for, Apple has gone through a fall-apart cycle before. And the reality is it takes about 10 years. It takes about a decade for a company that size to just kind of dwindle away into all but obsolescence. Yeah, like and, Apple and the thing is, is that Cook is not going to be a good CEO, guys. He's going to be a good operations manager. And I'm not saying it's just a bean counter, but Apple is Jobs. And see, what people understand is Jobs changed. He's changed from every like every three years or every two years. He's changed direction in taking risks. Cook is the safest bet. That's a safe, safe bet. That means you're going to get a common denominator of expectation. But Apple has enough cash right now to go and explore. You need a risky CEO. You need somebody who is as radical as Jobs to go and take you to the next level. And that is a risk. But Apple can afford that risk right now. Don't wait like they did before. Don't exhaust your capital and then take the risk to then say, oh, shit. You know, we just went through years of being safe and now it's time that we need to be risky. And they do it now when you have the cash. But, but Marcel, but what you're getting into, unfortunately, and I happen to agree with everything you're saying, uh, rather Apple will fall apart or may surprise us all, we'll see. But that is business 101. And here's the stupidest thing the companies that everybody is happy with are the ones that are doing what you and what you are saying and I agree with you is the exact wrong word. They're not risking. They're not. They're just doing Monday through Friday, day to day, same's the same and just watching everything shrink and shrink and shrink, but it's the same. It's the same. We you know, we're making the same spatula, the same buggy whip for those of you who remember Danny DeVito and, and OPM and all that stuff. And it's the, that um I, I agree with you. That's if that's if that's the road they go down, they'll do the exact same thing they did in the '90s. They will uh, as new technology comes out. And app, there was a flavor of this, in my opinion, already at Apple. That as new technology comes out, if it's not in vision with what the current company byline is, it's wrong. And Apple's been on the wrong side of that a couple of times in the last five years. They have had the elegance, and you're right, Jobs is one of the few people who can stand up on stage and go, I'm right because I was wrong, and everybody swallows it. Jobs yeah. is one of the few people who can do that, regardless yeah, of what you think Let me say this, though. <laughs> Apple is job-centric. Remember when we did the topology of how the leadership worked? Everything went through Jobs. So you're going to tell me that, that okay, everything goes through Cook and all this, and I'm sorry, oh, Jobs is the chairman of the board. <laughs> Like I said, I've dismissed that. If he was really going to be that much involved, then there was no reason for the resignation. There is a clear reason for the resignation, that there is no saving grace in that. I'm sorry, that's hogwash. And that move of keeping him chairman of the board is to stabilize their stock price. Oh, no, that's so, exactly what that's about. That's about saving yes. face. Honestly, it, so I'm surprised. Part, there's, hey, there's money to be made in trading currently by doing that. And that's why you don't play that game of just throwing all the risk right now. You need to have a, your, your stock price to stay there. You don't want to spell doom. And so that is a saving grace. But I guarantee you, the guys that are, and what Phil is saying, well, he's going to be the CEO. And all, I'm sorry. The logic dictates if he is going to be that involved that you were hoping for, then the resignation wouldn't be here to begin with. We wouldn't have this discussion. So that's the problem that we have. 
and Apple is job centric. That's the way he ran his company, and he was able to change on a dime. And he had the gift of saying, "The market's going this direction, and so are we. We're going to focus on this." Oh, but That's he didn't. But no, but he didn't. He's not Cook, guys. Cook is an operation manager. But st- you know? if we're honest, Steve didn't always get that right. There are some. No, but but he's risky. And when he did get it right, it was very profitable. And he's been right quite a damn few times to make his resignation reflect the $52 uh, uh, billion dollar downward spiral in the damn stock market. And, you know, on that. I mean, that's, we, we can't discredit. Look, we can't discredit. You, you see, everybody, it's Steve Jobs' fault that your stock market's crashing. <laughs> Job, I, that was from Bloomberg. That was from Bloomberg. I, I know. But, but the thing of it is that people don't understand is that, look, I, I give a ton of credit to Jobs, even though I maybe disagree with him in, in many things ideologically. He's made money. He's, he's, he's already proven that. And no matter if you agree with me or not about the iPad being a fad, it doesn't matter if it's a fad or not. And, and why people take that as a negative connotation, I don't I don't understand it. It made money. Being no, cool no, no, is no, 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 bit, and, you know, bit, you saying that is saying that the Apple magic is not all-knowing and all-consuming. That's what's wrong with that. Like, you're you're at war with the fanboys. That's... Um, <laughs> all right. <laughs> So yes, I'm I'm worried. Does that mean that I think Apple's going to collapse in the next two years? Hell no. I mean, there's the, that the shit takes time. What I'm saying is that I'm worried because if Apple does not invest in a, in, in exploring a risky CEO, that while Jobs is alive, could possibly vet and maybe get to know and maybe give his stamp of approval to and, and maybe, you know maybe yeah, this guy is radical like like I used to be in my younger years. And, and we need this kind of risk. They have the capital. They have money in the well, bank. Well, and, 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 and on, on that complaint, this has to do with something I've noticed that's weird. Every time there's a big letter like this that goes around in Apple, you go to apple.com, that letter is right there on the homepage. Steve's internal letter is not there on the homepage. We have the text of it through other sites. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. I, I, I have a theory on that. I'm not sure Tim's the final CEO. He may not be. I, I, I think, because like you said, everything that's being done right now is about stabilizing the stock price. Jobs is in there so the stock does not do a torpedo barrel fall. Uh, and, and, what they, and, 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 and putting Tim in there also stabilizes the stock price because Tim was serving as an intern manager while Jobs was sick. So it's like, oh, it's the same people who led Apple through the reins recently. Okay, the stock's still good. I think everything that they're doing right now is about stabilizing the stock, not even necessarily about any kind of long-term game plan. Uh, Apple may be feeling the same way you are, and they, I, I'm not sure Apple's smart enough as a company, and if Jobs really is sick of everything, I don't think Jobs would care. Well, look, uh, I'm just saying that, see, I think it's really his health. I don't know if there's a dispute internally. Um, I mean, who's going to dispute him? Forstall? Or, uh, I mean, who's going to, I, I mean, I, and Cook is not going to dispute him. That's not Cook's way. But, uh, to me, it's, it's, it's I, I, just, I just hope he's got a lot more years to live. Uh, I, 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 you know, the guy's... I'd like, because I, you know, it's like Steve Wozniak. He retired long ago, but man, do I enjoy listening to what he has to say today. The guy is always on top of his game. Well, uh, okay, but see, here's the thing. People make a big deal about Wozniak. Uh, Wozniak has always been a programmer, but never a businessman. Yeah. Wozniak has never been a businessman. I has, know, I've never really expected him to lead Apple, but what I'm trying to say is that, you know, jo- I, 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 man, I have a, a, a lot of... Uh, I don't know what the right word is, is admiration yeah. for, for, for Jobs, and as I did for Wozniak, and as I do for Wozniak. And to me, to me, right now, I don't have any indication that there's internal quibbles other than that it's his health and that something is wrong and he's probably have to go for many more treatments. And, and I hate it. I just hope it's not. I, I hope, actually, I hope you're right. Because that means his health is good, and then there's just like an eternal quibble uh, going on. Because man, I, I want him to be around for years to come. Whether it's it's kind of like Bill Gates made some of his best quotes after he resigned from Microsoft. Well, and if we're honest, some of the best quotes from Steve Jobs come from when he 
between when he was working with Apple and when he was working with Apple. When Steve Jobs was allowed to be honest and candor and not worry about the price of Apple stock. That's that's the best Steve Jobs quote there's ever been, you know. Because he was honest. He didn't have to worry about the words coming out of his mouth affecting the price of the stock. As out, as and he's still not going to be honest as chairman. He can't be, you know. He still has to be the uh, censored Steve Jobs. So, you know, I, I think it's a, a, a ever changing thing, and I am concerned. It doesn't mean, like I said, or reiterate, it's not the end right now. But I'm very nervous that they're going to go through the slow chipping away process. And, and, and then when it's time to take the risks, they don't have the capital to take the risks, and it's game over. Well, I just have that. I mean, I just have the hard time imagining they've made the same mistake twice. Hey, get a minute, Phil. How, but it's not, but like I said, the logic of Jobs resigning, he's not going to be there doing the day-to-day stuff to say, you're doing it wrong, Cook. Do something else. This is, th- then he would never resign. Well, and no. the thing that is, is that when people try to be Steve Jobs, they go the wrong way because they don't Oh, no, 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 no. R- rather you love, hate, agree with, or disagree with Steve Jobs, being a person like Steve Jobs, where you just run off that cliff full force and expect to fly, yeah. it, that's a personality type that cannot be taught. You cannot right. fake that. It, you it, either exactly. have it or you don't. Exactly. And the biggest mistakes that Apple made when Jobs was forced to resign back in the 80s was that they tried to be like him and how they perceived him to be. And the thing of it is, is Jobs, what people don't understand is what would argue with himself in a bloody match, the jobs of the mid '90s would argue with the jobs of the late '90s. Would argue with the jobs of the early 2000s and the mid 2000s. They were the, because that was the beauty of jobs. You could change in a dime. And what scares me to death is how people perceive jobs to be, and then make Apple behave that way. And that's what uh, slowly chipped away at Apple from there. People say you can't make mistakes. See mistakes. Show me and show me empirically where history doesn't repeat itself because we have that freaking saying because it happens so often and, and, and like oh the people will come back and say Mr. Bit, Mr. Bit or, or Marcel uh, Jobs created the, the, the job universe the, the job universe I think that is the biggest joke since the pet rock so we have a university that's going to teach us behavioral matrices of saying well, if I'm in the mood today, if I'm in X mood and the market does X, Y, and Z, this is the matrices to follow. I mean, no. I, I think it's just, I mean, because obviously, I mean, regardless of the circumstances, this, you know what I mean, in any company, this day always comes when you've had somebody who's moved a company from level to level, the day always comes when they have to leave for one reason or another, so... You just, I, you just, I mean, they must have, you know, had an idea that this was going to happen at some stage. And never, you know, I mean, regardless of the circumstances. So they, 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 they not hey, they 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 was, was going to Well, no, hey, well, but see, that that's the difference. The type of company Microsoft, Microsoft before Bill Gates left, had turned into a company where their primary business model was assimilate. Assimilate your competition. That was the Microsoft way when Bill Gates left Microsoft. Apple's business model is my way or the highway, and the my way in Apple's case is Steve Jobs' way. Um, and, and, and it just so happens that, that, that when, when, when Jobs left in the 80s or was forced out in the 80s, he has to come back. Look at Dell. Michael Dell had to come back. To, in, in many cases, and people are like Bob Rick can step out. You know, Rick Gates, look, I'm, I'm telling you, you can say all you want that, oh, people, are, people have and, and know better. They're professionals and what. I work with professionals every day and we all make mistakes. We forget that we are also human. We forget that no matter how much evidence is in front of us, we can do something else. Well, and, and it, honestly, that's one of the things I always worry about when like a really large industry uh, influence company, you know, I'm worried about Dell in the same way. Uh, whenever the founder has to come back after leaving, whether they left voluntarily or were thrown out, doesn't really matter, but when the founder or one of the founders or one of the key originating people has to come back to get the company on the right track, whether they do it or not, that means that company will not endure in the long run. That means that company needs them, and when they're not there, 
the company isn't that company anymore. Exactly. And, and, you know, good or bad, right or wrong, like Apple saw it, it's someday Steve Jobs is going to die, someday he was going to leave, you know, whatever. You know, he's not dead, he's still shot, he's still around, but like you said, he's not at the reins anymore. This is the true test for Apple as a company, if Apple can endure at all. Because if it can't endure without Jobs, it, you know, it, it can't endure. And there, there are very few companies that get to be that large that can survive that type of transition, where they just have to go from blah to blah. There are companies that do yeah. that. And, and, and let me say this: I think Apple may never, I mean, go to the way that it did in '95, where it's almost bankruptcy. What I'm saying is, it could lose a tremendous amount of its position that it has today over time. No, no. Uh, with, and, where and Apple, with, with where and, 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 with where Apple is now, we we had videos where we did it under oh, what, yeah. the Fortune magazine. You had people interviewed that explained the hierarchy that everything went through jobs. The only way to reconcile that kind of topology is to find another job or someone <laughs> who takes and 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 and, 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 and okay, I don't. I refuse to believe that there's just always one of of person around. There's, there's someone just as gifted as Jobs out there. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, but... They're but, always but, at the wrong place at the wrong time. No, but, but Bill, but let, let's think about that for a minute. If there is another Steve Jobs out there that's capable of running Apple, and they really are another Steve Jobs, are they, A, going to let Apple recruit them to be the next Steve Jobs, or are they going to create the next Apple and run Apple and everybody else into the <laughs> into the ground and go, aha, uh-huh, we're the new yada yada, you know, whatever. <laughs> it's like, yeah, when you know, Scully succeeded Jobs, I mean, he did have, preside over the golden years. But then, it, 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 you know, it turned around because he didn't have the vision. He didn't have, people don't get it. Jobs is never the same Jobs in time. That's the beauty of the guy. And it's it's like it's something that I come to, I, I came to understand about jobs when I used to argue licensing out OS ten. There is there are many jobs because the man has the gift to go with uh, the times and the way the I, ways I know. are I, 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 I'm, I'm glad you brought that up. Do you think Apple will license OS ten? This decade, assuming they don't replace OS 10 with something else, uh, I, and I don't think Apple will, because Apple has shown no, no insight. I, I think that I think that's over, and actually, I don't even think there's at this point in the way operating systems are going. I don't think there's a need to uh, anymore. To be honest with you, I, I, um, I, I, Linux, I think, is going to fill the void, okay. and, it's, and, and, and that's a well, good, that's a good on that's, that. That's happening. On that note, then, do you think the war between Apple and Linux will quiet down and Apple will embrace Linux again? Remains to be seen. I think that Apple is going to become more boutique products or, or, or you know, like the iPhone and I. And, and um, for time, if, if, if uh, so like I said, we're not post-PC, you know, you can't. You can't be post PC if the if the devices that you're trying to say are post PC solely exist because of the PC. In other words, everything that everything is created on the PC, let's just call it a desktop. And the iPad could not exist if the desktop didn't exist until the loop is closed. Oh, 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 uh, that post PC yeah. is Apple magic marketing. <laughs> yeah. uh, so, so so the thing of it is is that. Um, I, all I'm saying is that Cook is not the guy, the CEO. I want somebody more radical and more riskier, and then keep Cook in his position. He's great at what he does, um, and 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 you need somebody to be, that that takes risks is as uh, moody as Jobs, uh, if that's the right word to use, and Cook is tempered by Cook in terms of when it comes to logistics, and and. Take it now, because well, now Apple has all the cash in the freaking world. Personally, what I would like to see instead of Apple replacing Steve Jobs, I would prefer to see them get rid of the Appleness by keeping the um, other side of Apple, and that would be instead of replacing Steve Jobs with one person, replace Steve Jobs with a collective. Uh, try no, no, no. or a pet. That's not Apple structure. So I know that's not, not Apple structure, but you could restructure Apple to work like that, in which 
Uh, I think they have a good thing going. I think Apple has a good thing going. You know, I think their topologies are... Look, you want to get to something like Collective, like Microsoft, go watch Channel 9. I don't care how much bickering and bureaucracy goes on over there. <laughs> I think that Apple's got a, a close-knit topology. It's not for everyone. Not every company in every service industry can do what Apple does. It's not, it's not a template for everybody. Like Jobs, Apple University, would have to believe. It, it, it's very successful for Apple because Jobs essentially created the culture and everything else, and everything else fell in line with that culture. And as much as people want to tout the Apple University, I'm sorry. That's a, that, to me, that's a flaky mess. Uh, if you're really telling me it's going to make decisions, it can have logistical business practice in terms of operational procedures. But when it comes time for prediction, and those things that are based on emotion and intuition, there is no amount of university that is ever going to replace that. Oh no! Vision, yeah, that, that, that's the, the thing. I, 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 I'm doing this now. I'm focusing this much resources to doing this now. And no matter how, I bet you all the people in that medium time are saying, "Well, this is for risky jobs, and why are we doing this? We're fired. We're doing this." You know. And, and he, no, no. I, I, I'm with you because I have looked at the actuary table and prediction tables and yada yada that whole industries, banks, everybody uses. And I, and I think, name me one company. Name me one multi-billion dollar company that we now argue today is the hallmark of yada yada that fit this actuary table at the time it came about. I mean, right. Apple, Microsoft, FedEx, UPS, even Walmart, you know, when they started, all those, well, this is what the futurist tables said they were though going to go bankrupt within two years. And they're now all, you know, you're never going to get rid of them, companies. So that's all I have to say for, for, for you know, for the as, as far as 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 Steve's resignation. Now is the time to, to, to take risks in planning someone to to uh, be the next Steve Jobs. Cook is not it, and I pray that Apple doesn't start chipping away at all the wonderful capital it has now by playing the safest variable. The, the least common denominator. No, we'll find out with the products they released in 2012 and 2013. So, oh no, I think those are already in the pipe. I think Jobs has already had much intervention in what's coming. Uh, that's why I said through 2013. The 2012 yeah. ones are already in the pipe. There's some work on the 2013 ones, but towards the end of 2013, we'll start to see what the new Apple's producing. Come about Christmas 2013, right. mid 2014 is when we'll really right. start to see. I mean, I'm just so fearful that we're not going to have that new idea, that new product that comes out of nowhere, that Jobs is just so successful and just saying, yep, this is what we need now, and whether we agree with him as geeks and say, you're an idiot, Jobs, for doing it, that there's going to be consumers that, you know, that, uh, consumer, we're not the normal consumer usually. Uh, okay, and, and, but, and, but gonna, when in the last decade has he truly come up with that new, well, in the last three years has he truly come up with that new idea? I mean, well, I'm, oh, look, I know you're going to say the creative. I'm saying that, when, like, I know he didn't create much of the, the technology. What I'm saying is that we cannot dispute when the iPhone came out and the, and, and the tablet that the market responds in trying to compete because no one else stepped up to the plate and successfully delivered the product. And we have whole, we have whole companies that would fire CEOs and says, you're fired because you're not making a goddamn tablet. Because and, 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 and I still have those CEOs that probably were brilliant at what they did, but because everybody else was emotionally involved in saying, well, Apple's making me hand over fist profit, you're never going to fucking be an iPad because you're not a, you're, you're not a status symbol. For you, to make, you're, to, for you to make the money that the iPad makes, you have to be cool first. You have to be a status symbol first. I mean, that's how it is. I'm sorry. And people, oh, Mr. Ben, he's just he's negative connotation again. About it. Look, iOS and app downloads already prove what the freaking I'm saying. It's 48% freaking games and entertainment. Well, no. That's, it, it, that's a temporary fashion thing. Entertainment and games is, is, is something that the console games have been fighting left and right and Sony and Xbox and all this other crap, okay? But it, 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 it's a cool thing. It's a brand name. That is what companies strive for. They want to be the brand. They want to be known as unless, I'm the best product. Unless they're Apple. Apple actually didn't want to be a gaming brand, but damn if they haven't become one. <laughs> I'm just it's just it's just it's just we have we cannot deny that I don't care who invented the damn technology. Apple brought 
many products to the market first and change their competitors' uh, subsequent actions in a post that decision. Period. That's just influencing the market. They can't. You just can't dispute no matter how much we dislike as geeks of, 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 of Apple platform being a wall garden or what have you. I can't. We, we can't. I, 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 for me to maintain my, my credibility, I have to you know just reiterate facts, and, and I think that's that's why I've you know maintained the reputation that I've had on YouTube. Is that I can't deny. I don't care a shit who invented the technology. Apple changed market patterns by delivering something that made the subsequent competitors and everybody else in that sphere respond. Period. In other That's words, in other words, they're stubborn and they take and they say fuck you. Stubborn, <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. I mean, a consumer is obviously responding to the product. Okay, I mean, obviously consumers buy it, which then garners the attention of every other damn company that says, well, we want a piece of that wave. Well, look, man, Jobs had a plan of saying, I'm making an Apple brand, UHP, when you bought the title. Palm, you know what, under the Palm name, Palm probably would have been more successful. Oh, no, but Palm was out of money. Palm was bankrupt. <laughs> But Palm built a brand name that was far more respectable in terms of the products that HP was. And, and, well, and, and, and if we're honest, that's one of the reasons Android is so successful. Android is, for all, regardless of what it is, okay, it's it's Linux based with a Java based runtime environment emulation. Running. That, okay, that's not any particularly unique technology. So why is Android so successful when you can really get that anywhere? Because Google has implanted the Android brand, like That's people right. want, and they want that brand. And, uh, it's iconic. You have to make something. There was, uh, there was really. I knew that WebOS had a massive challenge under HP. They had a better chance under, under a company named Palm. But well, and that was one of the things I, I always criticized. Uh, I, we didn't really talk about it on here because we, we kind of wanted WebOS to succeed, and now it's falling apart. But when you were looking at the HP ads for WebOS, they weren't pushing the WebOS brand. It wasn't you wanted a WebOS, you wanted this thing. It was you want another HP. It's I like, know. how is this so, HP uh, different from that I, HP and that HP? Like, that was never really conveyed in any of the advertising. It's like, you were hoping the consumer would get it in spite of the lack of explaining it. They should have maintained the palm name and that's it. And that's not the HP way. <laughs> All right, Phil, so I went on my rant, so uh, you, I, I'm sure you probably may still disagree with me. But. Yeah, well, no, I mean, from what you said now, I can see why you're concerned about it. You know, it's just like I say, it's just of the, of the fact that, obviously, you know, there's the history there for them to look at, and I mean, if they, if they really want to be dumb about it, then of course they can screw it up, but if they want to make sure they're careful about it, I mean, obviously, that it, 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 as it stands now, we don't know which way that's going to go, they could they could make a smart decision or they could mess it up again, but I just find it hard that anyone can look at that history and, and still make those same errors. Well, and, and see, I'm personally, I, I because I'm the person here who's not really an Apple person, I, I'm, I agree with both of you, actually. I think we're in a new era for Apple. Uh, I personally don't have a stake or care whether that's the beginning of the end of Apple over the next decade and they dwindle themselves into the ground, or whether some of the many things I haven't liked about Apple as a company, now that we're in a post-jobs era, are going to go away and Apple's going to grow beyond them while still staying Apple, in which case it could be better than it's been in the last 20, 30 years of Apple if it can make that transition. I tend to, as things stand now, agree with Marcel, but they have enough cash in the bank that they can stumble for two to three years and hit the ground running hard with something else. Oh, still have, and they'll three years. That, that, their cash yeah. <laughs> will last them a long Well, no, 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 but they can't wait the decade. They have, yeah, to, they, I, yeah, they, they they have to move on to growing into whatever the new Apple is no later than 2015. If they wait longer than that, the ship has kind of sailed. Well, the stockholders are start saying, no, we don't want risk to return. At, at, at right. which point, the whole thing will just unravel. They won't die, but they'll unravel. It, it won't, yeah. They won't be It'll capable be of... Yeah. And also yeah. as well, um, with, uh, in regards to like um, what I was saying in regards to jobs influence, what I meant by 
like that was it's a bit like what you were saying about the 20, uh, 2013 it's not like say as some people have taken it that now that he's stepped down as CEO at Lightswitch has gone and that's it the product's oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. going to come out it, 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 yeah, and no matter what's going on in Apple you don't stop things already in production just yeah, to refuel them out that's, of the yeah, blue you don't do that I, yeah. <laughs> yeah well that's and it so I think the kind in of terms of that we're term 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 we'll still see for some time to come and it won't be for another year or so until that starts to change so yeah, uh, unlike yeah. what some people are thinking it's not going to be the light switch effect where it's all going to change just out of the blue yeah I yep. guess yeah there are articles that are like okay that's it and then yeah oh no it's not the end of it Apple no, not. those are people who. Do if I don't, you know, I don't want to go back to Microsoft. Well, no, those are people who try to. You know what? You, you can join us over here on Linux. You can join us in Linux. Linux is wonderful. You know. I, I, no way, you got me on that. That's true. I, I, I so tend to focus on Windows and OS ten. Yes, if Linux steps up to the, uh, well, I already have Linux. What am I talking about? But um. You know, if I, if I get enough of the software that I need to do... Well, no, and, and, and I w on the HP thing, I was saying that. I would like to see... I don't want Canonical to do it, but I would like to see somebody buy the HP works and the WebOS stuff and uh, make it Linux-based. You know, port all that stuff over to Linux and make a true retail offering for Linux. That would be an industry changer. And, I mean, at this point, Linux is really ready for that. Uh, but it needs the backer of a hardware company who's just going to say we're doing this fuck you <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. okay uh we've gone on but do we want to go into the well the, the, we'll let phil lead this topic uh last week the eu decided that um samsung is the enemy of apple and needs to be banned from <laughs> europe <laughs> yeah the, um apparently uh, a german one and uh, got Apple an injunction against uh, the Galaxy Tab 10.1 in the EU, so um, for about a week it couldn't be sold anywhere in the EU, and then about a week later it was changed to only Germany could not sell it, and they had a hearing just yesterday, but the judge apparently postponed his decision, so as it stands now, it can be sold everywhere in the EU except Germany. I, 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 I'm going to seem like a complete pompous American prick right now, but what the heck is the EU, it, it, always out of Europe does this come, you're the big bad company, we hate you, how dare you create competition, only in Europe, <laughs> what is the mentality behind that? That, 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 that's almost always where the initial rulings go. It gets turned over eventually on appeal, but the initial ruling is bad uh, company. Well, uh, and try this for a, a little bit of an extra tidbit. When it was banned everywhere in the EU for that week, it, it, could, it could still be sold in the Netherlands. <laughs> well... <laughs> You know, getting on to the Samsung one, that's the one of these little disputes that makes the least sense, because Samsung supplies Apple with so many of their hardware parts. I'm like, is it any wonder these devices are kind of similar? You know, I'm just saying they're largely the same hardware for obvious reasons, you know? Well, the, general, the general consensus is, uh, from what I, when, when that question has been raised, is that the the departments that are obviously are selling the tablets and that make the hardware are two different departments so one doesn't mind what the other's doing so one can still sell the hardware while the other one is losing revenue I think that's the way people have tried to explain that well no I, I'm not saying it's not but I mean it's of course Samsung is going to use Samsung technology to make a Samsung product you know what do they expect they expect Samsung to buy Sony technology to make a Samsung product? I mean, like, it's... <laughs> well, what, for the, from the court filing, what they're saying is, is that the, the, the look of the hardware, um, uh, uh, like with certain aspects of it, looks too much like the iPad 2. 
And I think the problem with it is, is that part of the issue was that when uh, they released the iPad 2, Samsung actually came out, I think it was either that day or the day after, and said they were going back to the drawing board because the iPad 2 made them change their mind about some things that they were going to do with the 10.1 while they were, were uh, get, getting it ready for release. So I think that when it came out, they've tried to make it so close to the iPad 2 to say it's the same, I think is a bit over the top, but they have tried to get it as close as they possibly can. And obviously Apple's not been very happy about that. I think that's the problem. I guess. Like, I don't think there's any deliberate going on there. Well, no, I wouldn't have said so. Like I say, I think that, you know, it's different enough where really the issue is it is pretty much pointless, but I think that's what it is. It's because of the fact that the iPad 2 did make Samsung have second thoughts. Well, but I think that probably had more to do with something like how much RAM they or memory they were putting in it or something. You can't make... Uh, at, at the last moment like that, anyone who knows anything about the, the time cycle of developing a product, at the last second like that, you can't make a change like, this is our new case. I'm sorry, you can't do that at that second. Uh, it, you can make that in the next run, but not at the last second like that. Yeah, well, that would kind of make sense. I mean, and, and it will, and again, uh, uh, clearly as to why the, the case does seem to be hanging on on the thread to where it about, it's about to blow up in Apple's face. But the simple fact is, is that obviously they've tried to go after the phones, obviously as well in, in a similar vein. And uh, as you as you say, obviously that's just because they they're the ones that you know look as as well as close as any of the others do. I, I guess to the iPhone and, and they just think it's the easier way to take out a competitor is the only thing I can think of. Well, and you know what's so funny about that? The reaction I see on a day-to-day -day basis from the consumer isn't mistaking these Samsung devices for an iPhone or an iPad. It's, hey, you got the new yada ya Samsung model. It's like they realize this is Android, this is not iOS, this is not an Apple knockoff. They don't even call it an Apple knockoff. They call it the new blah blah from blah blah. They, it, I've noticed that change has happened in the consumer where they're like, oh, how's that thing like the i i device? It's like, oh, like they, they they say it's what it is, not compare it to Apple. And I think that more than anything is what's annoying there. It's like it look it's it, because with them looking like they are. Uh, it, it the next logical progression of that in consumer logic is they're going to go, oh you got a you got the blah blah knockoff. It's going to make the iPad and the iPhone the knockoff device in the long run. <laughs> yeah, and I think you're probably right about that, and I think that's probably why they're going after him because even though you know it is you know slightly on a debatable to put it mildly, I think that's what they're afraid of. They don't want to be put as a second class device. <laughs> Well, well, that that's detrimental to the Apple brand that Marcel was just pointing out. That is what Steve spent years building up. You know, as soon as that's gone, that's that's one of the Apple's greatest assets right now. Um, the other thing in that is I like Samsung's reaction to this absurdity when it started a few years ago, uh, which is okay, Apple. If you'll send us a picture of your device before you release it, we'll make sure ours looks nothing like it. <laughs> yeah, well, they, they, well cause, uh, another thing I, they actually said about um, seeing the next iPhone as well, I think, was another thing that came up during one of the things to do with the phones. Oh, my, I, I, unless I'm wrong, my guess is the iPhone 5 is not going to have a major cosmetic redo. I think they'll do something to address the antenna some. Yeah, probably. But I don't think there's going to be any kind of massive cosmetic redo. Okay. Yeah, well, so, so, yep. so, so as, uh, as far as, as that goes, though, as I say, so um, I, I, I don't know if they said when the next uh, thing uh, or the next uh, time the hearing is to continue, but uh, it looks like that uh, Apple probably are going to lose that one. And to be honest, I think they wasted their time anyway. Well, I, I, I'm just glad it got undone for most of Europe. Uh, yeah, well, the, I, I, I have to say, the irony is when Android was talking about doing tablets, that was the one that caught my attention. So, to, so even though I've decided to put you know, the idea of getting an Android one on the shelf for the time being, I have to say, when I did first hear about it, I was quite mad, to be honest, considering that was the one that I was most impressed with as well. 
Oh, it's one of the ones, it's one of the few, I think, that has the price point reasonable. Most of the Android tablets in that league I'm seeing, they want almost as much money as Apple wants, if not more. And I'm like, no. <laughs> it's, not, it's not happening. <laughs> Anything to add on that, Marcel? Not really. Okay. I think y'all cover it, well, I guess we'll stop off there for iWorld. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. well, unless you want to critique on anything from PC, but that's... Nah, 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 nah. Okay. Okay, well, we're going to pause off there, and uh, I guess maybe see you next week, we hope. <laughs>